welcome to Animatic Streaming Experience. We have our new guest today. We have a couple of guests, very interesting couple of people, very friendly. And <laughs> Vesela Danceva from Bulgaria and Eva Bogdana from Bulgaria as well, from Sofia. Ciao. Uh, it's like, uh, Ciao. Animatics 2021. Uh, the, the online part of the festival and so now we introduce these two animators so first question is uh, how you were involved in animation and why each one of you okay hi and thank you thank you for having us i mean although we are how do how is this term now e-meeting on <laughs> this e-meeting uh the question of uh, how we first get to get to be in animation is the answer is we, we both actually we both study in Rotterdam. I went there from from Bulgaria when I was 21. I went there to study illustration and in the Rotterdam uh, Academy of Art, they just newly formed this new program concentrated concentrating totally in animation. So I was one of the guinea pigs there, actually. I was one of the first one to join the animation in, in the Rotterdam Art Academy. And even can tell his story because I think our yeah. love to, to animation is connected to our love uh, between each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, it's like everybody tells that uh, he, he loved animation when he was a kid. Uh -huh. That's natural. We all love animation, uh, but I never knew that I would do any animation films at, at some at some point in my life. And uh, we met with Vesela and we fell in love. And then a year later, she went to Rotterdam, and uh, I went there because of her. And I went to the art academy because the art academy would. I would get license to stay in the Netherlands. It wasn't an EU then. <laughs> so, uh, because I fell in love with Vesela, uh, it happened that I started doing animation and I loved animation as well. Well, that's so, so, a starting point in some way. <laughs> yeah, for me. So it's, yeah. so, it's kind of, you know, it's, uh, it's love, coincidental. <laughs> And necessity because it's a, it's it's documents you gotta fix all this stuff you know you have to have license <laughs> to stay otherwise if I don't have permission to stay in the Netherlands we have to I have to go back to Bulgaria and go back to writing letters because there weren't any emails like that <laughs> and we used to write lots of letters you know every day we would write letters also when you went together in Rotterdam <laughs> not in Rotterdam we didn't have to write them in Rotterdam. No, Finally, you met each other first in Sofia, and then Vesela was going to study in Rotterdam. Yes, actually, that was that was that was it, and I was there a year by myself, and then even followed and came one year later. Okay, great. So, so now, since then, together, and since then, animation is around. I mean, yeah. animation is our so, profession. Before the starting of your company, that is called Compot Collective. Uh, there is at least there is the, an important film that you did with Sela, uh, Anna Blume. And yes. Is something related to the studies, like uh, is a diploma film or is the first film after the diploma? I think uh, what we did, we started, I graduated with a film called Pull Over, which went on a couple of, uh, I mean, for me as a, you know, graduation film went pretty good, went on a couple of festivals, get some small awards. So actually Anna Blume came much later. Anna Blume is, I would say, the first professionally executed film that we did. The first film with a more or less full budget. The first film that we worked with a team, with composer. It was a 35 millimeter copy of Anna Blume. And we did as a collaboration between uh, Bulgaria and Germany that came later. We graduated in 2002 and we did small small commission work uh, 
we did some small experiments. I mean, we stayed in animation, but not like with the major, uh, with big films. Okay. We saw something with festival or whatever. I mean, authorial animation, as it's called, uh, in some way, with artistic animation. No? Yes. Or yes. More like uh, advertisement and. We did little experiments of artistic animation in between as well. I mean, and also the commission work that we have, it was not that uh, we were working in a, in, a, in a studio, actually, we were the two of us working together and, you know, getting, getting different, different assignments, which we also interpret pretty much artistically. For example, for the first time we were selected, uh, even actually was selected in a, in the commission program in Annecy, I guess that was 2001, with a little short, which was meant to be for the opening of the Rotterdam uh, Conservatory of the new building. So we made this very free uh, kind of jazzy interpretation of <laughs> even- uh, Actually, when we graduated from the Rotterdam Art Academy, people in the Netherlands started uh, looking for us, for our work. And uh, we all the work we did there was always done in our style. So more or less people started looking for us for, for the, the style we, we, we kind of developed at that, at that point. And then later on it came that we started making uh, animation, animation films, but in, in the beginning, we were just surviving there in the, in the Netherlands and were doing commission work, but commission work, which was, uh, we were approached because of the way we were, we were doing things. Yes. Because we are talking about drawing animation, so really classic, uh, classic animation. It no. was actually computer, computer animation with very, with very uh, simplified and stylized graphic style. And we developed that, I mean, I'll show you some of that early work. It resembles a lot Anna Blume. It resembles a lot also uh, the things we did we did after. But because I come I come from a background, I came from a high school of drawing. Like here in Bulgaria, we have these specialized schools. So when I went to Rotterdam, I was I was more advanced in drawing than the than my colleagues there, and that's not not because I was just talented is because I spent more time drawing yeah. and even when he joined animation he uh, I never drew I drew only as a kid and I never knew that you do now no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but he had this you know this uh, very rich imagination so he could come up with characters which were very specific and he could come up with these characters because of his lack of ability to draw, but I found them very, very inspiring and fascinating. Uh -huh. so kind of develop in order to be able, you know, to work together and to test little ideas and little two, three minute films. We knew that we have to keep it simple and minimal just to be able to execute it. But we also developed this peculiar uh, graphic style, which apparently was, you know, people looked for, uh, was like kind of, a little bit outstanding, you know? And I think this period of the first years that we were working together just on small things, that kind of made the bond between us and the bond for animation. So we could, you know, survive until now, believing that, you know, <laughs> in animation and still doing that because you know that something would be, you know. As, as I put it, you know, when we start doing things together, uh, I had to learn a little bit how to draw. I had to learn to draw a little bit better. And Vessel had to decrease her level of uh, <laughs> skills so we could meet in between. So <laughs> in between an ability and an ability to draw, it, that's what uh, uh, forms our style. So after pullover, Adam Blume is like the, the point of... Uh... After, after pullover, we did a we did couple of small things. We did one music video, which was like um, with, a, with a story of itself. 
called Easy that was in 2004 that went also on a couple of uh, uh, festivals. And then I guess the most major work, we did short children films for, um, for VPRO, for Dutch television. We worked on a lot of different projects, but then was Anna Blume. But we already, you know, we were traveling to festivals and we already had that kind of, you know, we knew some people from the international animation uh, world. So that's how we came to, uh, we came to making Anna Blume. We applied in, back then in Germany was this um, film prize who was meant to stimulate uh, East, European. East European and German co-productions. So Anna Blume was financed through that and then I could finance in, in Bulgaria as well. So it was my first producing job as well, just in order and first uh, kind of uh, work that we did in Bulgaria. So how, so how you work together for Anna Blume? How you separate the, the, the film or, or join the film together to make uh, one film? The film is what's not only done between between Ivan and me, but it also was done as it had to be a co-production between Germany and Bulgaria with uh, with uh, with my German partner for the film, Ebele Okoye. So we kind of. Uh, we kind of went, you know, because the film is based on that very famous uh, poem by Kurt Schwitters, and I don't speak German, so I obviously fell in love with the English translation of the, of the poem. And our first steps on making the interpretation of Anna Blume were not that, uh, were a little bit, you know, more, more flat and our idea mine with Ebele was to go through interpretation of that film also using the um, the visual style of the collages of Kurt Schwitters, you know, we were trying to make a little bit more, how do you say, polite film, but then I figured out that, you know, it was not going really anywhere because for me it was also the first time experiencing of collaboration other than the collaboration with Ivan. So at the end, what we agree with Ebele is that um, for the sake of one year delay of the whole production, I'll direct the whole film. She, the mainly the animation was done by her, the rough animation. So we kind of took the uh, animation and cleaned it. So Ivan's job was our director of that film. So he could, you know, he could uh, help with the visuals, how rough the visuals to stay and, you know, with the use of colors and, and, and like that. So this is why the film is, uh, is like uh, Anna Blume by the Sera because you... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. the director of the film. Yeah. Yes. And this was a big success that bring you to open another time to the, the rest of the world or not? What was a good... Uh, a good opportunity this film the success of this film. Yes, definitely was was a great opportunity for learning first for production and co-production because not everything went smooth so for me it was like uh, challenging and you know experience of learning how how that process is done to working with somebody from a different country to really to make a co-production to work with uh, with different in a way restrictions and obstacles but the film was i think quite successful in open it opened in rotterdam the premiere was in rotterdam so for us was a great pleasure first to be in that you know big festival as a premiere but then also to be home where we studied with our film after we left because we left holland 2006 and Anna Blume was ready, I guess, 2009. So it opened, I think for us was like the, the first major professional step, yeah. if I can say that. Yeah, because in any case, you were always the idea to, uh, you, you always have produced your film and you also start with the, with the producing uh, firma, like uh, Compot Collective, the producing uh, company. So. You were always doing the artistic work, but also decide to develop something related to production. Yes, that happened also out of, out of uh, in a way, out of necessity, because Bulgaria, although we have a big 
an old tradition in animation, uh, like the, 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 the crowd, the animation, how do you say, the animation society is not that big. Uh, nowadays, I hope that it's, you know, getting bigger and younger people are feeling like um, finding their place in making artistic animation. So coming back to Bulgaria, as we didn't know anybody from the industry and we had already kind of done enough small work to feel confident that we can, you know, we can pull it. I just applied to the film funds with that film, which with Anna Blume, which already had this, uh, yeah, in a way, special special prize from Germany. And actually, it turned out that it was the that was the first uh, Bulgarian uh, international co-production in animation. So also for our film fund was yeah. kind of yes, yes. There were before I knew anybody there when I was going there for some documents. There were. Oh, from the international co-production. And I'm like, the film is called Anna Blume, but if you want, yes, Anna Blume turned to be the first. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, I, I didn't know that. So since then, since then we, we started kind of, um, you know, searching for who is doing animation, who wants to, because our, as we learn our, I guess, key um, role model was to create animation from within the specific style or visuals that you carry, you know, not really to make the hierarchical structure of we need six, seven animators to animate on our film, yeah. but more or less to find people which are like us, which want to express themselves in animation. And that's the idea of Compote Collective. That's how it started. And how it was the, 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 the beginning of Compote Collective and how it is going on now and in the recent yeah. past. Although, as you mentioned, there is no, almost no trace on the internet <laughs> of it. Uh, because there, of there are different places. Not the, web, the official website is not working. But yes, uh, there are a lot of places. Yes, and, beautiful, beautiful site was there for what more than I don't know ten years, but now it's gone. But I guess you know uh, we do the recent the recent years or the last ten years, ten, twelve years since Compot Collective ex exists, we did we did a lot of things. We produce a lot of a lot of films. Also, also films that are signed by human even no. Yes, yes. So okay. every time, every time we try to like Anna Blume was my uh, my direction. Then we made the film Father, which was uh, which to test the idea of Compote Collective, which were like five directors for the individual story, but even was the the lead director of the whole film. Then was you know, a good substance, no? Was very good. Yes, father, father yeah. had a had a, had a, I could say, I mean, I know some films had even bigger success, but for us was huge success. Also for the people, also for the directors who were involved, I think all, all of us. Yeah, it's a good, a good start, a good restart of, of uh, I mean, the company was starting with the best, in the best way possible. Yes, no? yes. Yeah. yes. That was, that was actually the, the, the reason we made the film is just to see, is it possible and how it's possible to work with other people who have different kind of talent. So the idea of Compote Collective, I always uh, repeat that it's uh, animation, of course, and drawing style, but it's communication. Uh, to communicate, to interact with other people. That's the, in the, for me, that's in the core of this. And this says sound and verse is something uh, different, but uh, in the same direction or not? S sorry, I didn't the, get that. The, the group of film with Boris, from matter of film, etc. This, uh, this, yes. uh, this uh, project mm -hmm. yeah, is also, in, I mean, is in a way is a sort of a development of what you said about father, because it's like uh, to produce something that is not really a collective film, but a sort of collection of film with the same uh, with the same topic. 
Yes, yes. It's a very interesting project, I, 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 I have to say. After, after Father, I think Mark and Verse as an idea was the second uh, Compot Collective uh, I, idea that we in, initialize. And that was mainly based on, you know, on my experience with Anna Blume and on making on the connection between poetry and animation. I found it quite, quite interesting and quite rich. Sometimes it's difficult, but sometimes it's also, uh, it gives you this safeness and freedom of interpretation if you, if you are starting, if you're making a debut, but you still have that, uh, that lead of the of the of the text so you are free to make your own interpretation but you do have the threat of the story because you know in animation a lot of times animation directors they tend to come up with the script themselves so yeah. i think it's nice to do to do some to try also to adapt some existing existing work and poetry is very suitable for that yeah, because short animation is like poetry. So. Yes, yes, yes. Not to connect. The only, the only problem of, of poetry and animation is that the poetry is already an artistic interpretation of the, of the experience, human experience. And then doing an, an, another artistic interpretation on top of an artistic interpretation it's a bit, uh, uh, there is something tricky in it. You it know? is challenging. It's, it's not just you take a, a, you yeah, take yeah, a yeah. pop blah, and it's an animation. Definitely, definitely. It's uh, challenging. I think you do have to make your, your, your interpretation, your script, your vision, your take on it. Because poetry is a syntax and animation also works that way. So you have to be... You have to be intuitive and clever how not to, you know, how to play with the words and the visuals, how to make that, not to, not to overlap them, but to make them dance with each other and make it, uh, you know, richer and more interesting. And this was made more as a single films that make a sort of uh, uh, ensemble, but every film has its own life, no? Yes, yes, exactly. And actually now they are, I think that for now I'll, I'll stop with that because <laughs> it's too much poetry films that we did already. But like the first, the first attempt and the first production was a six short film. And now recently we make another six. So we have a thousand, uh, Duzina, how is 12,000 of them now. We have 12 films, which I'm now trying to figure out how to, of course, when the, the time changes and cinema are, are freely open, you know, to make a special projection of that collection of these 12 poetry films. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now we have, we have made, you know, after 12 years, we have made enough minutes <laughs> of projection. animation or projection. Yeah, the program in cinema. Yes, yes. But we try, you know, I mean, we know each other since quite a, a, a long time. So you know that with each film, we try something different. Like Father was based on uh, documentary interviews. The films in Mark and Verse and Anna Blume are based on poetry. Uh, we made the film also together with you, which was purely visual, uh, traveling country. So only with sound and music without any voices, actually the voices used as a music instrument. Yeah. Now, we are, now we are working on a film which even wrote the script for, so it's more like solid and well-written uh, story. So I guess with each film we learn and we try to go in the, in, in areas, the new, new territory. in new territory. A bit, yeah. a bit. So you start already to answer to the next question. It's like, what are you doing now in a new project? <laughs> yeah, it goes naturally. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No, mainly we are teaching at the, at the moment as well uh, in animation in university, and that goes on online. Uh, yeah. 
um, at the same time, I think Vesso has quite a few things going on as uh, a, pr a producer as well, but we try to work out this uh, screenplay that I did for an opera singer, and it's an animation that involves opera, and we are still a bit in the dark about that. So it's interesting times and we are the same at these interesting times we are a bit scared and we <laughs> kind of um, cautiously advance. <laughs> well, uh, I think that we are in the dark, we are just mainly at home. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> So, okay, uh, well, if you don't want to say something else, uh, for me, it's a, it's a good uh, portrait of your work. And so, thank you very much for being with us. I remember this <laughs> Anima Fix uh, streaming experience, uh, waiting for the live, uh, live uh, version of the festival at the end of July. Uh, thank you, Ivan. Thank you, Vesela. Um, pod collective. Thank you. Thank you. For having for having us and hope to see you soon and hug you hope yeah. to see you at the festival actually yeah. i mean we want to be at the festival if there is a live edition <laughs> oh yeah sure <laughs>